The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. On this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Marina has a mysterious cyst in her chest. All right, so for Fernando has a nasty cut. Phoebe hopes for a new smile. And three-day-old Jordan needs life-saving heart surgery. He's pretty uh, strong and he's hanging in there. We got really good faith in him. He's going to do great tomorrow. Three-day-old Jordan was born with a malformed heart that is unable to pump blood from the left side. The defect was diagnosed early in his mother's pregnancy. Without surgery to create a new way for blood to flow through his heart, Jordan would not be expected to live a week. We first found out for sure when I was 18 weeks pregnant. We were pretty shocked at first, actually, because a lot of the, the most thing that we looked for were, was a limb disorder, was really what our main concern was to first off, because Matt's is a limb heart disorder. After the first, even the first uh, ultrasound in Sudbury, when uh, we could, we got a picture and of the the full arm and all five digits, and uh, that was like a one for us, you know. And then, so so then we were really happy because we thought all was good. And then on the next ultrasound, then they found this. So we still are waiting to speak with the surgeons today, and uh, they'll let us know what their plan is and it'll be probably first thing tomorrow morning. They schedule six hours for it so it, it is a pretty big operation. And he's pretty uh, strong and he's hanging in there. We got really good faith in him. He's gonna do great tomorrow. Right Jordan? Sixteen-year-old Phoebe Luck was born with an underbite so severe that to correct it, her jaw will have to be separated from her skull and moved into a new position. Okay, have you finished registering them? Okay, great, we can actually move on to the back, okay? Okay. Say it after me. Uh, okay, see what you're telling for me? Okay, smile. The underbite can cause pain when Phoebe eats, but teasing from her peer group causes her greater pain. I wrote a play and I titled it You're Ugly and it was just about like these three girls that like really made my life like not fun. What she has went, gone through when she was being teased, she does not, nev she never come home to tell us. And we, I just found out until she wrote the play and uh, when I read it and I know that is what she has gone through and I, I cry. Because you know like kids don't understand or they're not going to try to understand like you know, that it's a medical thing and it's not like, oh, well, I chose to have an underbite, right? Like, it's just how it is. And, like, you know, kids are, kids are going to be kids and, like, get teased and stuff and, like, it's not fun. Phoebe will return for her jaw surgery in two weeks. It's okay. It's the morning of Jordan's operation. Jordan's parents meet the surgeon who will rebuild his heart. We can't make the heart normal, but what we, tr what we can do is we can make what heart your baby has work sufficiently. As it stands right now, it won't work sufficiently. We have to change the arrangement by step by step so that it's something that can last a lifetime. The uh, chances of survival are in the range of 85%, plus or minus a little bit. And that's, you know, survival to go home kind of thing. It's very unusual to not survive the operation itself. These children can get pretty sick and sometimes need uh, a lot of extremely intensive care. For, and sometimes their hearts will stop unexpectedly on us. All that says is we're dealing with a complex problem. And we don't have a perfect solution, but we do have a solution. And for many children, it works out very well. And we hope that your child fits into that category. All right, good. Thanks. The surgical team is ready for Jordan to be taken into the operating room. So 
Okay, start. The team's first job is to open up Jordan's chest to expose his heart. This means cutting through layers of tissue and then delicately sawing through his tiny chest bone. Seven-year-old Fernando has been brought to the hospital's emergency room by his father. So what happened to your hand there? I was playing and um, I scraped my hand. Oh, good boy. Where were you playing? In the garage. In the garage. What were you doing there? I was trying to make um, a stick of a broom to, to a little um, a stick, a, a little stick sword. And then uh, the third time I did it, it um, scraped my hand. All right, let's take a look here. So does this hurt at all? Did you yeah. cry? Yeah. Not that bad, eh? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, then. So was it a piece of wood or a piece of metal that made that cut there? Metal. Piece of metal, eh? That's pretty deep there. Was it bleeding a lot before? Yep. Pretty nasty cut, eh? Yeah. Alright, so for this thing, what we're gonna have to do is just put a few stitches in there. Some deep ones, and then we'll put some on the top, and we'll close it right up. Okay. Okay? Okay, so why don't you come up over here. Before Fernando's cut can be stitched, he'll need a local anesthetic. Okay, and I'm just gonna give some medicine to make that cut sleepy, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Some procedures can be as hard for the parent as they are for the child. Right, here we go. Just a little mosquito bite. You feel that? A little sting. Dad, are you okay? Do you need to sit down? No, I'm not sitting. No? Okay. I don't like to see this. But... Jordan's heart surgery has been underway for two hours. The team has rerouted his circulatory system and is now letting blood flow through the repair. Heart's quite full. But something is going wrong. The repair is not holding and Jordan has begun to bleed uncontrollably. The heart's still quite full. Still full? Atrium's quite full. Why is it not empty? If the bleeding cannot be stopped, Jordan could die on the operating table. Jordan's parents wait for news from the operating room. After a very tense 30 minutes, Jordan's surgeon has finally stopped the bleeding around the heart. It's empty now, yeah. That's good there. Yes. Jordan can now be taken to the critical care unit. Hello. Things are okay. So, yeah, a little more in there to do than maybe what I had planned on. Okay. And we were just drying up the bleeding, and then all of a sudden we started having a lot of bleeding. In the area where we'd worked on the veins, uh, suture had come unraveled for some reason or other. I'm not certain why, and we had to fix that. So okay. that's why it took a little bit longer than what I had told you initially. But the heart's working nicely, and uh, the repair that we did looks good on the echo, which is you know, where we check things out. And uh, so far, things are okay. Okay. All right. And we'll be going to the intensive care unit, and you'll be able to visit in a little bit. Okay. okay. The real test is how do they look tonight? All right. Okay, thanks. Okay. Back in the emergency room, 
Fernando was ready to have his cut stitched up. Okay, yeah, so we're just gonna pose these two sides together. Just like that, okay. okay. Good boy, you're doing really good. You're so brave too. You feel that? A little bit, what's it feel like? It feels like almost nothing. Like nothing? Okay. <laughs> nothing is good. That's what we want to hear. It may be nothing for Fernando. It's still pretty rough on his dad. Okay, we're all done, Fernando. Do you want to see your stitches? What do you think about that? Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Okay, nice meeting you, Fernando. All right, see you later. Take care. Stay out of trouble. 14-year-old Marina has a growth in her chest between her trachea and esophagus. Doctors hope it is a harmless cyst, but can't be certain until it is removed. Pardon me? You're already worrying. No, I'm not worrying. I was just checking my watch. No, I can I'm hungry. Don't yeah. talk about food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must be Marina. Hi. Hi. Good morning. I'm Dr. Holtby. Good morning. Good, Hi. good morning. Nice to meet Linda. you. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, no, it's not a trick question. It's a genuine question. Are you, are you worried about this? A little bit. A little bit? All of it in general or anything in particular? Mm, all of it in general. All of it in general. Well, all of it in general, from your perspective, is going to be, depending on what you think about needles, is it a needle a terrible, terrible, awful, the worst thing that's ever happened to you sort of a thing? No. All right. I've been getting them since I was four. Okay, well then my suggestion to you is, but you don't have to because you're the one on the sharp end, my suggestion to you is that you let me put a little IV in your hand just to put you off to sleep. And I can promise you, because it's often something people worry about and they don't say so, and that is, number one, you will not wake up in the middle, absolutely not, under no circumstances, and number two, you will wake up at the end, absolutely. All right, sweetie, are you all set? No. No? <laughs> what would you like to do? I mean, you, can, you know what the other thing is? You are not obliged to be brave, to be composed, to be any of those things but it's actually easier if you can keep a reasonable grip on things. So give mum and daddy a kiss and let's go. What we believe in is giving a real kick-ass performance. There you right? go. Sure. Yeah. There you go. Okay, hun. See you soon. Yeah, you'll be out before you know it, honey. All right. You're gonna be waiting three hours. Or more. Three years. <laughs> I actually have this very special magic spell for getting IVs in, all right, yes. and that with this, which I need you to help me with. And that is, do you know the alphabet? Yeah. Okay, now can you do it backwards? No. Well, go on. There you go. Brilliant. Now your ivy is in, so the magic spell worked. Are you ready to go to sleep? Sure. Okay. That's the woozy thing there. <laughs> she likes this. She likes this wingy thingy bit. Hey? Well done, Marina. You were fantastic. Marina's surgeon reviews her CT scan before the operation begins. So this is this is her chest, and the black thing in the middle is the trachea. And this little black dot right there is her esophagus, and this kind of gray thing right there is the cyst. So our plan is to put the ports through the chest walls and then remove this thing without injuring either the trachea or the esophagus. That's the plan. The team will attempt to remove the cyst using a minimally invasive procedure 
rather than making a large incision. I would probably put one in down here where you would normally put a chest tube. I would actually put, probably put this one a little more posteriorly more so. and this one up kind of here. They begin by inserting ports, which will be used to slide surgical Make instruments sure and a miniature light. camera into Marina's chest cavity. Do you want to put the camera in first or do you want to answer? Uh, well, let's just see what it looks like. So we can have the lights down, please. Jordan's parents are called into the critical care unit. He's got a lot more tubes than before. His fragile condition requires that he be kept on life support. He cannot breathe on his own. Is he tied down any other way or just through there? Or he's he's not... actually suspended, so his chest is suspended a little bit just to keep his chest wall off of his heart. Much. We're keeping him asleep. Okay, that's good. Yeah. For how long? Um, like, we'll just have to see. We'll like just, a couple days? Um, or... We'll just have to see how his blood work looks, what kind of changes we can make. Okay. I'm just going to do the blood work. Okay. Um, can we come up and speak to you for a second? We already had to give him quite a bit of fluid for a low blood pressure. Okay, that's... But besides that, he's pretty stable. He's doing okay. We're just checking his blood work, so we'll, we'll see where some of our numbers are at. Jordan is just four days old, but over the next few hours, he may be fighting for his life. It has been two hours since Marina's surgery began. The doctors have located the growth, but it may not be the harmless cyst they thought it was. This is, it's just, you can feel the hardness of this thing. So, I mean, maybe it's not a cyst at all, maybe it's a tumor. The surgical plan must be revised. So I changed my mind, we are gonna send this fresh. If the tumor is cancer, Leaving any part behind could endanger Marina's life. The tumor must be carefully removed as a whole and sent to pathology for extensive analysis. So there's the tumor. So we're going to need to put it in a bag. There you go. I'm trying to, I'm trying to corner. Yeah, I think it's in the bag, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So I think you can just... Okay, try now. There it is, okay, there it is. We're gonna want margins and we're gonna, and I'd like a frozen on it too, even though I told them that we wouldn't get one, but that was assuming it was a cyst. It's not a cyst, it's a tumor. How are you? It's starting to feel a bit antsy. Well, it took longer than uh, yeah. expected. And the reason is because it wasn't a cyst, it was a, a lump, Oh. a solid, lump, like a, really a tumor, um, in the wall of the esophagus. Because it's a tumor, uh, I did send it off to the pathologist and ask him to mm -hmm. take a look at it. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, and you got clear around the edges. Yes, yes, we got okay. clear around the edges. I didn't see any evidence of any other spread of a tumor in there at all. Okay, because so. that was my next question, if it was something malignant, like with with it being in a spot like that, is there a chance that it would be anywhere else? Or? Well, if it, if it is malignant, then there is a chance that it could be somewhere else. We didn't see it anywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll start looking for spread in other places if, if it turns out to be malignant. Okay. okay. It's the day of Phoebe's jaw surgery. Her family keeps her company in the OR waiting room. Yes, just nervous. Think about it like no pain, no gain. It's cliche. <laughs> Sometimes cliches work, like now. Yeah, don't worry, don't feel nothing. Yeah, if it hurts, then oh well. Yes. It'll get over it eventually. Mm -hmm. Just like yes. your piercings. 
Dr. Oh, Perth, how are you? Hi. How are you doing? I'm okay. Are you nervous? Yes. Me too. <laughs> what? Uh, well, that's I'm, just I'm just kidding. But I had a great night's sleep last night. Well, I'm glad one of us did. Well, you didn't? No. Really. Well, you know what? You get to sleep during the day today. Yeah. So, sure, like, sure. you have the easy job. And I'm the one that has to do all the work. Right. But I'm sure everything's going to go fine. Who's this? A blankie. Your security blankie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll look after that while you're asleep. Yeah, no blood on you. No, we'll keep it nice and clean. Okay. We don't we don't lose blood in the surgeries that I do. Okay. Anyway, if you, uh, do you have any questions? No. You understand what we're going to do? So the surgery is going to involve moving the upper jaw forwards and then doing some work on the chin right. to straighten it. Okay. So if there's no further questions, I'll see you down in the room shortly. Okay. And um, I'll see you guys afterwards. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye. It's time for Phoebe to go to the operating room. Hi. Okay. Okay. We'll take good care of her. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. We're just gonna go right to the left. Of course. Okay. Okay. All the way down the hall. Okay. Bye, baby. Love you. See you later. You're Here we are. I'm just gonna put my mask on, and in we go. Come on in. Oh man. Okay. Guys, I'm really nervous. That's okay. I'm not really nervous. Okay. Some slow, deep breaths, baby. We'll take good care of you, son. I know. I know. We'll take good care of you. So can you lie back? It's a very you busy might have to room. Sh yeah, shimmy on up a bit. You're doing great. Are you okay? Take a nice deep rest. Ooh, Try to pick out a it. nice relaxing place. Marina has been moved from the OR to the recovery room. Just rest, okay? And mommy and daddy are gonna both stay with you for a while, okay? So you're just here for a little while and then you'll go up to your room. So, but everything's out, it's all done. I wanna go to sleep. Okay, go to sleep, honey. Just close your eyes, we'll be here even if you're sleeping, okay? Just rest. I love you. I love you too, honey. I love you too. Mm. I can't reach. I'm too short. I can't get over there. Mm. Hey, you still my best money. Mm. Marina's parents face days of uncertainty as they wait for the pathology results on the tumor. Phoebe's family settles in for their wait as her operation gets underway. Oh, that was a her surgeon reviews her x-rays before he begins. Phoebe is a young girl with maxillary hypoplasia. And when you look at her x-rays, you can see here her facial profile is that she's got a very nice lower jaw with pretty good forward projection. But her upper jaw is actually quite retruded. And you can see that the general shape of her face is kind of like this. It's almost concave. And on top of that, her chin is a little bit asymmetric in that the one point here and the other point here are slightly at an angle. And when you look at Phoebe, she's uh, incredibly beautiful. She's got great zygomatic prominence. She's got beautiful eyes, nice jawline. But if you look very carefully, you'll see there's quite a significant uh, underbite. And so by moving the upper jaw forwards, we'll do two things. We'll correct the way that the teeth are fitting together, but we'll also certainly improve her facial balance. So this is actually a very exciting operation to do on Phoebe because we know that She's really bothered by her facial difference. This will hopefully make her forget that she ever, ever had any problem. So let's get started. Phoebe's surgeon begins to separate her upper jaw from her skull so it can be moved into a better position and reduce the severity of her underbite. So I'll take a medium-sized dose of osteotone there. Okay. 
care of the max hang. It's been 18 hours since Jordan's heart surgery. He remains in the critical care unit on life support. He's been doing good. He's just, uh, his blood pressure's a little iffy and then they, they were managing to go down on his blood pressure a little bit, but now it's, it's a little bit low. So they had to go back up. She started seeing him like that. With all the hoses and everything, I mean, it was like, 15 machines around him, keeping him going, you know? And it's just hard to see him like that. You gotta try and see beyond all the hoses and tubes and things sticking out of him. But he seems to be doing all right, and the doctors are all positive on the uh, outlook of the operation, so we're just keeping up hope. Mm -hmm. We'll give him, uh, says a week, they say a week before you can really, uh, so anything could happen in the next week. Phoebe's family has been waiting for two hours. Her surgeon has repositioned her jaw and now works on her chin to balance her profile. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to do some work on her chin. And her chin is asymmetric, so the plan is to bring it forward a little bit and then bring this side down to match the opposite side because it's a little short on this side. And we're going to take a little wedge of bone out on the, the left side so that it'll, it'll, it'll leave her up. So, okay, I'll take a selfie. You can come out with that. I'll take a large periosteum. a little bit on that side, and we'll just extrude it a little bit on that side. Okay, so I need the tiny, tiny L-shaped plates, two of them. Well, we just finished and everything has gone very, very well Good. with the surgery. She's on her way to the recovery room. I did the surgery on the upper jaw as we talked about and also adjusted the chin. Mm -hmm. So I think there's been a really nice change mm -hmm. uh, that we noticed in the operating room. Mm -hmm. You'll see when you see her, she's going to be fairly swollen and mm -hmm. she may have a bit of a nosebleed and that's pretty common after mm -hmm. this type of operation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep a really close eye on her over the next few days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, everything went very, very well. I was very pleased. Good. Yeah. Thank so, you so thank you. much. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank, yeah. thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. So it's uh, finally, uh, it's all done and over. If she's happy, then everybody's happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it's her decision. She wants to do it. And then if she's happy, then that's what it's all okay. mm -hmm. yeah. It's been one day since Marina's tumor was removed. She recovers on a constant observation unit in case she develops breathing problems. Sure, honey. You ready? Okay, one, two, three. There we are. Off the car. Okay. Marina's surgeon checks in on her during morning rounds. So how are you doing? You got to cough as much as you can. Right? 
when I cough, even with the blanket. Did they talk to you about what we found in there? No. What we found, instead of a cyst, we found a kind of a lump in your esophagus. A lump in yeah. Esophagus. Yeah. And that was what was pushing on, on your trachea and pushing on your esophagus. So what did the, the lump look like? Well, it was probably about, about that big. Pretty big, actually. It was a big thing. That's why we operated on it, because we were worried about it. And the uh, pathologist will tell us, hopefully by the end of the week, what exactly it was. You'll be feeling a lot better in the next couple of days. The pain will be a lot better. So it hurts a lot. Yeah. Jordan is still unable to breathe on his own, but he's made it through the very dangerous first week of recovery from his heart surgery. He's opening his eyes. Oh, hi. Yeah. He's super active today. Yes. There were seven of these things here a couple days ago, and now we're down to three. Uh, Numbers are looking good and everything, so even though he wasn't moving around lots and that, you could see that he was getting better because of things that are less machines keeping him going, so just trying to stay as positive as possible. Yeah, I find my hormones a little bit out of whack. I'll have a mo moment where I'll just cry, 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 and then I'll be okay. So I try to keep her as a good spirits as possible, especially when we're here. It's a little harder when we're not here, but when we're here and I see him and he's moving around, and he opens his eyes, I mean, I can't be sad. I'm more happy that he's awake and aware and he's looking at me and that, so I know he's doing good. Still early in the game, though. Still have a long ways to go. Phoebe has been transferred to the recovery room. Just, my lips are sore, so I'm just going to put some Vaseline on them. Phoebe, I just have the Vaseline, okay? So I'm just going to, does that feel better? Yeah. Your mom and dad are here, okay? They're, they're right here. Let me get me out of the way, and I'll move this for you. You guys can come right in close. Okay. 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 Don't talk. Don't talk. Okay. Don't say nothing. Don't talk. You're okay. Everything's good, okay? Mm. Everything's good. Mm. I know. I know. Mm. Just a few days, it will be, be much better. I mm. love you. I love you mm -hmm. too, baby. Mm. I love you, Daddy. Mm. Phoebe faces a painful recovery from jaw surgery. But perhaps not as painful as the teasing she's had to endure for so long. One day after surgery, Phoebe recovers on the plastic surgery ward. Hi. Thank you. There you are. Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, it looks like you lost to Mike Tyson. I won. No, you won. Yeah, you have. Oh. <laughs> Everything went really well with the surgery yesterday. Okay. I was very, very pleased. How was your night? How was your night last night? Long. Long? Yeah. That's because she slept most of the day. I can't wait to go. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have nightmares or anything? No. 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 Okay. All right. Just gonna have a look inside your mouth and see how things look. Yeah. Can you bite down for me? All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Wonderful. That looks great. 
Today we're going to get you up and around. You can have a shower and probably take the IV out as long as you're drinking. And the important thing for you to do is to do lots of mouthwashes. I think you're probably going to be here over the weekend. And with a bit of luck, we'll send you home first thing on Monday. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Any questions at all? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, you did great. And I'll come back a little bit later on and see how you're doing. Okay. Okay, then? It sucks. A lot. Jordan is 11 days into his recovery from heart surgery. <laughs> He's made incredible progress. Yeah. He can now eat and breathe on his own. I think we've been getting to hold him, so that too has been good. And he's usually pretty content once he's in your arms. He settles right down. They, they say he's really nosy. He's always looking around and, uh, or he's got just one eye open, you know. <laughs> he wants to sleep, but he's like scared to miss something, you know. So. He's only got two wires left now. I mean, before, when he's got all kinds of wires, it makes it much more difficult. But now he's only got his two wires, his NG tube and his art line. And the one art line should be coming out today, so. Izzy frowns a lot too, like he's, even in his sleep all of a sudden he gets that from his mom. He's lost over a pound though, but they said it's pretty normal, plus the stress that he's been under and everything, so. We're gonna try and fatten him up a little bit. <laughs> You need to swallow. Three days after her tumor was removed, Marina is strong enough to visit with a friend, but her recovery isn't easy. I'm in a lot of pain right now, but it actually, it hurts more when I'm in bed than when I'm walking. When I'm walking, it's actually easier to breathe and I, I can move very easily. I don't hurt, but when I'm lying down in bed, my side bothers me a lot. And there's still no word on whether the tumor is cancerous or not. He kind of just taking it through kind of step by step and um, to be honest, I'm, I'm trying not to kind of, like I know we're going to get the pathology report, but you know, I'm not trying to, I'm trying not to go kind of beyond that in terms of thinking about what, uh, what might or might not happen, just take it a step at a time. <laughs> it was funny. It's been four days since Phoebe's surgery. Okay, now if you could just stay still right there and press the button now, okay? Before she can be discharged, her surgeon must review her x-rays to ensure her jaw is healing correctly. So I can tell it's you because you've got a big smile. <laughs> And you can see all the little plates and screws in here. You can see that? And there's some plates and screws down there. And then, here's the oh, side view. swelling, holy crap. Yeah, well, part of that is swelling, and also part of it is just the whole change in the way that your face looks. I think it looks great. Any questions? No. See, you're coming back, I can tell. You've got that kind of look in your eyes. It's <laughs> a mischievous look, so I know you're feeling better. Yeah, I am. Good. Okay, all right. Okay. okay. We'll Phoebe's x-rays look great, so she can go home. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Phoebe will return to hospital for checkups as she heals. It will be several weeks before her swelling subsides and her new profile is revealed. After four long days of waiting, pathology results on Marina's tumor are ready. So, pathologists reviewed the specimen that we gave them, mm -hmm. okay, and um, it looks like it's a benign tumor of the esophagus, of oh. the muscle of the esophagus. It's a smooth muscle tumor called a leiomyoma, and he said it looks completely benign. 
So the, that's good news. Yeah, that's I great. Know. Yeah. So now can you tell me again exactly what the name is because I know okay. Marcus is going to ask me. The, uh, the, the term is leiomyoma, L-E-I-O-M-Y-O-M-A, which just means that it's a smooth muscle tumor. Okay. Okay. It was a good thing we decided to take it out even though it was benign. It's good that it's not there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, thank you you're very welcome. much. Thank Continue you. Continue what you're doing. That's you're good doing a great job. To hear. All right? Doesn't sound too bad. Nope. No, actually. No, it it's, doesn't sound. Sounds, it's a good, sounds it, good. It's a good diagnosis. Okay? Thank you. All right. Thank see you, you later. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye now. Well, that's good. That's Ow. Really good. Oh, Ow. sorry, sorry, sorry. So I better phone Daddy and let him know. Hi, Daddy. I guess what? They know what it is. Yeah. It's a benign tumor. What'd you say? I love you too. Jordan has gained enough weight that it is now safe for his parents <laughs> to take him home. It was nice to meet you. But to see him into adulthood, Jordan will need two more surgeries to complete his heart repair. Let's take him out. Let's take him out. There you go, buddy. Oh, I'll give Julie a kiss goodbye. Bye, hon. You behave. No more monkey oh. business. There's okay. tukes right there. Going to miss you. <laughs> Jordan's nurse won't have a chance to miss him for long. His second surgery is only six months away. Hey, sorry. Take care. Thank you so much. All the best. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Good. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye, Jordan. Marina, look at the other pillows, please. After three weeks in hospital, Marina is also ready to go home. How does a 14-year-old cope with a cancer scare? It's over and done with now. I'll probably forget about it in like two weeks. <laughs> Fernando has fully recovered from his trip to the hospital and is back to being a daredevil. Careful. Three months after her jaw surgery, Phoebe returns for a checkup. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. You look fantastic. Thank you, I feel fantastic. Oh, amazing. And when you look in the mirror, do you notice a change in terms of how yeah. your face looks? Yeah. Can I just have a look inside your mouth and see your teeth? And then bite down. Oh, that looks great. Wow. I think you look gorgeous. I really do. I'm very pleased. You've been a great patient. I think the last time I saw you, you had a lot of bruising still, and uh, yes. and that settled down nicely. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Nice to see you again, Phoebe. Thanks. Thank you so much. I'm dead. Thank you for all your help. Thank, Thank, you, very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously when you're going through the pain, you're like, why did I do this? And you're just like, it's totally not worth it. And afterwards when it stops hurting and all the swelling's gone down, you're just like, ah, I like it a lot. So yeah, I would definitely say that I'm happy with it.